Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in Blender 4.1. Well, the topic of today's video is uh, something that every single 3D artist deals with, right? In Blender, it's called the object origin. People using Maya would call it pivot point. Some people call it rotation point. But nevertheless, it's a very important thing. So what is it? Well, if you look at our default cube here, let's get rid of the camera, we don't need that. We see that we have that orange dot in the middle, right? Now, if I wanted to rotate this guy, if I selected it and I went to my transform tool, and everything I do centers around that point, okay? So if I move it around, there you go. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why is that so important? Well, I'll give you a practical example, okay? We're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit Shift A, and we're gonna go and create a plane. So mesh and plane they have it and we're going to scale that we're going to hit s we're going to scale that up and there you go now let's move this cube up and it looks like it's still tilted a little bit let me just uh, fix that we're going to go and set this value to zero there you go all right so what we're going to do is we're going to hit seven on our keyboard uh, actually let's do uh yeah one front view we're going to grab our cube and we're going to move that up so it's sitting on our plane so here you can see that happening okay now it's sitting on our plane and what i want to do is i want to uh, kind of flatten that cube squish it right now what happens is when i take my skill tool and i start to squish it it will go towards the pivot point or the origin of my cube i don't want that i want it to squish it down right so we're gonna hit Control Z to go back, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna manually move that uh, origin to the bottom of the cube. So that's kind of what's going on, right? So, um, yeah, still getting used to these shortcuts, sorry. We're in our front view, and what you wanna do is you want to hit um, Control and Point, right? So Control, Point, and as you do that, you see that you get X, Y, and Z markers on your gizmo. And I'm going to move that down until it's uh, sitting on X right there. Okay. And then make sure you hit control dot or control point again. These markers will disappear. And now if you go in here and you want to scale this guy down, it will scale down towards your plane. So that's one of many, many reasons why you would want to control that. Right. Now, there are other ways to move your pivot point, but this one I feel has the most control. Uh, you can do it manually. Uh, there's also the option to go to uh, object. For example, right now it's at the bottom here, right? You can go to object, you can go to set origin, and you can go uh, geometry to origin, which will move the object to the origin point, or go origin to geometry, right? So if I do that, it will jump back to the middle. But these are all based on vertices, edges, and other positions. Uh, the control point method will give you free control, which means you can also take it and move it outside of your cube. So let me do one more example for that. We're again in our front view. I'm gonna hit control and point. I get my gizmo markers again. I'm gonna move the pivot point outside of my cube, all right? And I'm gonna hit control point once again. And now it will rotate around this point. And sometimes that can be very useful, right? So yeah, that's what I want to show you guys in this short video today. If you are enjoying the series, please hit that sub button so I know I should make more. Uh, it's always helpful to understand that people are enjoying the content, right? And that said, that's it for me for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.